my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you six hair tips for all hair types. If you're an oldie but a goodie then you already know that I'm a licensed cosmetologist and doing hair is my thing. Am I lazy when it comes to my own hair sometimes? Yes. This girl's not gonna lie. I do get a little bit lazy. I have created a list of six different tips for all hair types today. I do work with a lot of different types of hair, some extremely curly and extremely coarse, to hair that has no curl pattern whatsoever and it's kind of on the thinner side. I've had my hands in a little bit of everything, so I feel like these tips are gonna be good across the board. So I hope you're gonna be able to learn something today and utilize this in your everyday hair care routine. Before we jump into the tips, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join our little family. We are growing so fast and I just love each and every one of you. So if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? The first thing I wanna talk about is getting a good detangling brush. Doesn't matter what kind of hair you have, if it's thicker, if it's thinner, if it's curly, if it's wavy, if it's straight, no matter what kind of hair you have, you do still need a really good detangling brush. They're not very expensive. I love the wet brushes. I have a couple of them. I have one for clients and then one for here at home. But this one in particular is my favorite. You have to get the actual wet brush line. You can't just get some random one that you find that says it's a detangling brush because I can't really promise you that they're gonna work all that well. But the wet brush is awesome. It detangles, it doesn't hurt, especially if you have kids with really tangly hair, that's gonna make your life so much easier. It's not gonna hurt them as bad and it does not pull out your hair. If it's really matted and it's really bad, you might find some hairs that will come out because I mean, you can't, you can't help it. We do naturally shed, but that brush is gonna make your life so much easier. So that is definitely one of my favorite brushes. Next up is going to be dry shampoo. I'ma tell you, I was scared of dry shampoo because as you see, my hair is on the darker side and dry shampoo tends to leave this weird white cast, like ashiness or something going on in my hair. And I'm like, I don't like that mess. Even if it like sucks up oil, I don't want it. So it was really hard for me to find a dry shampoo that didn't leave that white residue in my hair and my favorite has definitely been this Batiste um, dry shampoo whichever scent it doesn't really matter I like all of them this is just the original one it smells so fresh and clean you just part your hair wherever you want you just spray it on in there and you massage it in and you take your brush and you just brush it through and I actually use my detangling brush to do that but um I love it if you're looking for a dry shampoo to use in between shampoos then I definitely suggest that one. Hair care tip number three is going to be get you some vitamins, girl. Especially if you want long, luxurious hair. If you are struggling with getting your hair to grow like I have been for years, I'm telling you, it hit just it hit this peak and it quit growing completely. I don't know if it was that super horrible haircut my mama took me to get when I was going into high school. I'm still scarred for life, guys. Like, it was horrible. Like, she cut it up to like here. My hair, my ponytail was like this long. And all throughout high school, like, I had no hair. Like, it wouldn't grow. So I wore extensions like my whole entire high school four years. I highly suggest these vitamins. These are the only thing besides taking better care of my hair and not killing it with heat. But these are the only thing that has helped my hair to grow incredibly if you've known me for a while you have seen the length that my hair has gotten over the past couple years and i owe it all to these bomb hair affinity supplement vitamin pills whatever they're called they are life and game changing i will spend i think it's like 24 dollars. i can't even remember every month to get these pills i mean they're not the best things ever to take i hate taking pills and they're not like super tiny little little pills or something to take i mean try to get one out so i can show you you take two a day and i mean they're not small at all so if you're not a pill taker be aware but i'm not a pill taker and i take them because i have seen the biggest difference in my hair over the past few years so if you're struggling with growth or even if you're not struggling with growth let's say your hair is thinning or you just want healthier hair i highly suggest those vitamins you can always take biotin but those vitamins have so much more in them and i just think i just think they're the best hair care tip number four is going to be get yourself a deep conditioner or a leave-in conditioner or something i know that all hair types won't do well with the leave-in conditioner because if your hair is a little bit more on the thinner side it's probably going to oil your hair down if you do struggle with that i have heard so many people say that they struggle with their hair being oily the very next day so they quit using conditioner 
don't do that. Just put conditioner on your ends. Please condition your ends. Your ends get the most heat damage and it's it's the oldest hair on your head. Just imagine it starts from here and it grows and it grows and it grows. So this hair down at the end is the oldest part of your hair ever. So it's fragile and you need to take care of it. So my favorite conditioner of life, y'all know I am a curly girl, so I do go curly majority of the time. And this Aussie three minute moisture, and it's like three or $4. This is my favorite conditioner. It smells good. I mean, it's probably got some bad stuff in it that I shouldn't be putting on my hair, but I'm telling you, I love it. It leaves my hair super conditioned. I'll leave it in there. I'll do like a little fast deep conditioner on it if I'm going to blow dry it. Um, but this is my favorite. I have like different ones, I think, for like volume and whatever, but the moisture one is my lifetime favorite. If you're looking for some really cheap, awesome conditioner, I suggest this one. Hair care tip number five is going to be, if you do straighten your hair, you need to get a good straightener. Do not go out to Walmart and buy some little cheap Conair or whatever else they have, Revlon, I don't even know. Don't do that. Sweet Jesus, don't do that. I know that sometimes you're in a pinch and you just need to straighten it. But please, please, even if your hair is, you know, it's super healthy or if it's just, if it's super damaged and brittle, don't do it. For one, I don't straighten my hair nearly as much as I used to, which caused a lot of damage to my hair, which was one of the main reasons why it wasn't growing because I was putting all of that heat on it and I wasn't taking care of it. But my all-time favorite of life, Smoothing iron is going to be the Paul Mitchell smoothing iron. I don't have it on me right now. It's actually with my hair kit. It is my favorite of life. I am going to insert a picture so you can see what it looks like. I also have everything down below in the description box. If you want to buy anything, it'll just send you right to the link to purchase it. But this is my favorite flat iron of life. It's actually called a smoothing iron, the proper terminology, but everybody calls them flat iron. It's so smooth. Your hair doesn't get caught in the sides of the plates. It is so awesome. It does not burn your hair to death. Um, it, it does its job with one pass. The thicker your hair is, you're going to have to take smaller sections and go a little bit slower. But this is the best flat iron I've ever used. And I've used so many over the years. I've used Chi. I've used those cheap little ones. We've bought some off of like QVC and we've used those. I've used a bunch of flat irons. And when I tell you this has been the best one I've ever used and I've had it for five years now and it works the same exact way as it did the first day that I plugged it in so if you're looking for a bomb smoothing iron I highly suggest that one and the last tip number six is going to be serums okay I know this is scary for some people <laughs> because of your hair type you want to sort of go with something that's not going to either weigh your hair down or that's something that's you know that's not heavy enough it all depends on your hair type this serum that I have found. First of all, shout out to Hairfinity for sending this girl this botanical oil serum stuff. I had been eyeballing it for a little bit and I was like, mm, I don't know Hairfinity. I like your vitamins, but I don't know if I'm going to like this oil. Y'all, they sent it to me. Praise the Lord Jesus. I got to open it. I keep it in the box because I think it's beautiful. Okay, so here is this botanical oil. You can put it on wet hair, dry hair, curly hair, straight hair, thin hair, thick hair, whatever the case may be, it goes for all hair types. I love the packaging because it makes it super simple because it has the dropper at the top. I have a couple like Moroccan oils and stuff like that, which are not really the best for like thinner hair types. But this makes it super easy to get into your hand and to control the amount. That is what's important. If your hair's on the thinner side, you don't want to load it down with oil because it's going to pin it, it's going to get to your scalp a whole lot faster. It's going to create oil buildup and you're going to have to wash your hair probably even faster than you normally would. But your ends definitely need this oil. Y'all, this is the best oil I have ever used in my entire life. And it smells it smells good too. <laughs> I definitely can smell some like essential oils in there. I just do like two or three drops from my ends and I'll just take and rub in my hands and just rub through and it makes such a huge difference. It doesn't leave my hair oily feeling. It does leave it nice and shiny. It does not feel like it's being weighed down, like there's something in it. I used to be 
so against products before i went to hair school i was like mm -mm, it weighs my hair down i don't like it and it was because i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know the proper stuff to use thank god for paul mitchell school of fadeville shout out to you guys um they taught me so much and you do need product but you just need the right product for your hair that stuff right there is bomb.com you can always add more you can you just can't take away so just always start small and work your way up i suggest maybe one to two drops on thinner finer hair and work your way up from there but y'all that oil is bomb and it smells good so that's a win-win i get so many questions about what are my favorite hair products and what i'm doing with my hair so i said you know what i'm just going to share some tips with my beautiful subscribers because i know that they can all benefit from it no matter what your hair type is i know that this is universal so i thought that this would be a great thing to share with you guys today also if you have any hair care questions don't hesitate to question me down below in the comment area i love helping you guys out if i can and if i don't know the answer i will find the answer for you because i'm just that much helpful so i hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and thanks for watching Bye guys. I try to see where my luck goes. I just don't know how it's left out. There must be some kind of plan.